Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to a new Fortnite weekly challenge video and in today's video I'm going to be going over all of the free challenges and including the battle pass challenges and telling you guys the best way to do all of these. Now, if you enjoyed today's video, please be sure to drop a like if I just hooked y'all with today's challenges. Also, if you're new here at the channel, please subscribe. I would really appreciate you if you guys did and I'm also doing a V-Buck giveaway at 200 subscribers and all you have to do is just subscribe. And you will be entered a chance to win V-Bucks. And that is all you have to do to enter that, you guys. If you guys are wondering why I have uh, me 1v1ing my friend as, like, the gameplay for today's video, it's because I can't get any gameplay right now because the servers are down. And I meant to get some earlier before they went down. But unfortunately, I was asleep and I have to wake up early to make this video. So, yeah, if you guys are wondering why there's a creative clip for this video, that's why. Sorry for any misunderstanding. But, yeah, let's get right into challenge number one, you guys. For the first challenge of this week's challenges... It's going to be a deal 200 damage to opponents with grenades, dynamite, or stink bombs for a total of 5 battle stars. Now, if you guys have ever, like, if you guys use any of these a lot, you understand how easy this could be for you guys. So, it's good news. Easy 5 battle stars. Now, the best way of going at it, what I said, I would, I would say trying grenades because grenades do 100 damage, I'm pretty sure. So, if you literally just go into a Team Rumble game and just chuck grenades at people all game long, stinks and dynamites... You have a pretty high odds of completing this challenge in one game. So like I said, Team Rumble would definitely be the best way of going at this just because of the fact that you could respawn if someone trolling, trolling and kills you or if you just want a higher chance at getting better loot. And overall, it's just easier. So if you guys, again, want to get this done quick, Team Rumble. Now, you don't have to do it that way. It, you could do it as you're just playing and you could get it completed. It's that easy. But... The best one to do would definitely be grenades if I had to pick one. And then I'd say second would be dynamite and then stinks. Now, don't get me wrong. Stinks do a lot of damage. But it's like five damage, but like, ticking. Like, and then they could just walk out of it. Grenades is like, boom. Like, that's it. Like, <laughs> I explained it horribly. But you guys get what I'm saying, hopefully. Okay, you guys? So, that's going to be all for challenge number one for a total of five battle stars. Moving on to challenge number two, you guys. This is going to be for a total of five battle stars. It is going to be a challenge that's usually in every week's challenges. It is going to be search seven chest at Salty Springs or Frosty Flights. Now, pretty self-explanatory. Both of these spots can be kind of populated. More Salty Springs, though. You could definitely get this done quicker in Salty Springs. Actually, no. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of chests in both places, obviously, but... If I had to pick one, I'd definitely go with Frosty Flights because actually now that I think about it, not as many people land there and you have a higher chance at getting this done. Now, if you do the challenge as soon as they come out, there will be a little more people there just because of the fact that people are also trying to get this challenge done. But I still think there would be, it would, you'd be least likely to get this done in Salty Springs because usually I'll get like one or two chests per house if that, I mean, the loot is so like bad there sometimes. So, of course, Team Rumble would be the best way of doing this challenge because if you die, you could just respawn and go try it again. And there's just better loot. Overall, you just have a higher chance at completing this challenge in one game in a Team Rumble game as opposed to a solo duo or squad. So, yeah. All you have to do is just search 7 chests. You can get 4 at Salty, 3 at Frosty. It doesn't matter what order you do this in. You could just have to get 7 in total at one of these places or both like i said doesn't matter so yeah that's gonna be all for challenge number two you guys we are now on challenge number three you guys and this is going to be the first 10 uh, battle star challenge from this week's challenges and it's going to be eliminate five opponents or eliminate an opponent in different matches and you have to do it five times so literally you just have to kill one person in five different matches again this is going to be a super easy challenge for a whole tier you guys or excuse yeah a whole tier literally a whole tier like, I mean, this is pretty, 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 pretty easy. So, all you gotta do is just go into a Team Rumble. Now, you don't have to, but if you go into a Team Rumble, just get an elimination, and back out, it will count towards your challenges if you guys didn't know that, you guys. So, I do that all the time when I do my challenges. So, you could just get one kill, wait for it to go away on your screen, back out, and do it again four more times. Because you can't do it all in one game because then it'd be even easier and that would just be too easy at that point it wouldn't even be a challenge because these are challenges so you're gonna have to do it in different matches just keep that in mind you guys i don't want to have to get you guys messed up you know what i'm saying like i don't want you guys to get five kills in the game and be like well how's my challenge not done you know what i'm saying so yeah just keep that in mind so 
Again, it's going to be for 10 battle stars, and it's super easy. Just eliminate one opponent in five different matches, you guys. And that's going to be all for challenge number three. It's that point in the video, you guys. We are about halfway done with this week's challenges. And then, of course, we have your guys' favorite challenges. As always, we have a stage challenge, and all of them are going to be a total of five battle stars. Now, let's go over them right now. So stage number one is going to be complete a lap of a desert racetrack. Stage number two is going to be complete a lap of a snowy racetrack. And the final stage, stage number three, being complete a lap of a grassland racetrack. And if you guys are wondering where all of these are at, the first one is going to be right outside of Paradise, you guys. It is going to be this racetrack right here. So that's where it's going to be at. And then stage number two is actually going to be at Happy Hamlet, you guys. I don't know if you've ever been there, but I think that was a challenge like uh, last season where you had to do complete a uh, lap. It was kind of like this, actually. And then the stage number three is going to be in the jungle biome. Now, I can't really remember where this is at, to be honest with you guys. And I tried finding a picture on Google, but I just could not find one, you guys. So I will be trying to keep you guys updated on my social medias. If you don't follow them, go follow them right now. And I'll be keeping you guys posted on that right there. So, yes, first stage is going to be one, one battle star, second being two, and then the final stage also being two. And that's going to be all for challenge number four, you guys. Moving on to challenge number five for a total of five battle stars, we have place trap items in different matches five times. Now, this could be a campfire, this could be an actual trap, this could be a turret, this could be a launch pad, anything like that, you guys. But you could only do it once per match, just like the one challenge eliminate opponents in different matches the same thing but you just have to place a trap instead of an eliminate an opponent so uh obviously team up would be the best way of going at this because there's increased loot there's more chest you have a higher chance of getting a trap to place and literally you could just use anything it's completely up to you guys you could use a trap you could use a launch pad now again you can't do it all in one match because then it'd be too easy because these are called challenges at overall but Again, you guys just keep in mind you have to do one per match and you could just back out like I said earlier Once you get one done and then go back into another game and just repeat this process and make sure you do it five times Now I feel like the easiest one to do if I had to pick one it would definitely just be a trap But I mean they're all like just super easy. You just have to oh, this it's the same button for everything and it takes the same amount of time to place a trap so, or excuse me, trap items. So yeah, that's going to be all for challenge at number five, you guys. We are now approaching the end of this week's challenges, you guys. So again, please be sure to drop a like if I'm helping you guys out with your challenges this week. Or if you just generally enjoyed today's video. So yeah, let's move on to challenge number six, you guys. This one is going to be for a total of ten battle stars, you guys. And it's going to be visit different wind turbines in a single match five times times now if you guys are wondering what these are it's going to be these things right here so yeah thankfully you don't have to do these all in different matches but you could just do them all in one match now as you see in the picture there's like a couple right there so you could just do a couple of those to get those knocked out and then overall this challenge is just super easy to complete just because of the fact that you could do this all in one match and not do them all in different matches that really helps out a lot because there's a lot of those challenges in this week's challenges where you have to do them all in separate matches and it's just a headache and it's annoying, but you got to get your challenges done. So, yeah, this one's kind of like a, a freebie. So, yeah, again, that's going to be all for challenge at number six, you guys, for a total of 10 battle stars. Pretty self-explanatory. Moving on to the final challenge of this week, season nine, week five challenges is going to be get three eliminations at Sky Platforms for a total of 10 battle stars. Now, it's going to be these platforms right here, you guys, that you could just float up onto, and a lot of people like to land on them, so you could pick up easy limbs and also get that one challenge done, eliminate opponents in different matches done at the same time, so you could possibly knock out two challenges in one game, you guys, after doing this multiple times. Now, again, you could do this all in one game, not like the other challenge where you have to do one per game, but this one, you could just get three kills off the bat and just be done with your challenge, and it's an easy 10 battle star, so of course, Team Rumble would be the best way of going at this challenge. If you could die, you could just respawn, and there might be someone there later in the game where you can just land on them. Now, you don't have to do this soon as the game starts, but that would definitely be the best way of going at it and then Team Rumble. And if you do your challenges soon as they come out, lots of people are going to be landing on them, so it's going to be pretty crowded and pretty, like, claustrophobic up there, you guys. So it'll be super easy to get these three of limbs. Only three. Like, I, I figure they make it, like, five or some other number, but, I mean, it's only three, so it's going to be super easy. And it's a whole ten battle stars, so that's going to be all for that challenge, you guys, for a total of ten battle stars. If you guys made it to the end of the video, you guys are some real ones. Drop a like if you guys are a real one. 
thank you so much for watching and if i helped you out with your guys challenges too again please be sure to drop a like and if you're new here to the channel don't forget to subscribe because i'm gonna be doing a v buck giveaway at 200 subscribers and at the recording of this video i'm at 143 and i really want to get back to you guys i really appreciate you guys watching my videos giving your guys this time to watch my videos you guys could be doing anything with that and you choose to watch my videos so that means the world to me i honestly appreciate every single one of you guys no matter how many subscribers i have in the future if i don't move at all either way i still love all of you guys again i hate to get all corny like that but i mean it's just true so yeah it's gonna be all for today's video guys and i'll catch you guys next time